Well guys, the last new comic book day before Christmas is coming up, so it's time to take a look at what's coming out so I can tell you what I'm getting. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome, and if not, welcome back. Uh, on this channel, I do comic book reviews, unboxings, haul videos, and everything in between. So if you love comics like I love comics, then you should hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell icon, that way you're notified when my new videos go live. Uh, now today, we're doing another installment in the series I like to call What I'm Getting where I take a look at the books coming out this coming up week, and I tell you which ones I'm buying, what's on the chopping block, and what's on the maybe list that I'm making a game day decision on. Now, I always like to start these off with the book that I'm most excited for for the week, but before I do, I have to give a quick shout out to our channel sponsor, Ultimate Comics. Uh, now, Ultimate Comics, they've got four locations in the Raleigh-Durham area, and if you happen to not live anywhere near them, no worries, because you can shop online twice a week at the Ultimate Comics Live Show. They do them every Tuesday and every Thursday on Facebook. And you can get all sorts of stuff, right? They've got this huge warehouse where they've got millions of back issues, things that you forgot about, things that they forgot about, things that are probably worth a lot of money in some cases, um, and just some fun steals, right? So, for example, I just got this full set of Superman for all seasons, books one through four for 16 bucks, right? Those are the types of things you can get at the Ultimate Comics live show, in addition to all the new and hot variants for each coming up week of releases. So definitely go to facebook.com slash Ultimate Comics live show to reserve your spot and make sure you set notifications so you know when they're live. Uh, so thanks to Ultimate Comics for sponsoring this video. Now, like I said, I like to start out with the book that I'm most excited for in a given week. And this week, that is a brand new number one from DC Comics. Of course, I'm talking about Batman One Dark Knight, book one. Uh, so this One Dark Knight is a three issue miniseries uh, done through B DC Black Label by Jock. Now, Jock is done. He's done like just phenomenal art on Batman in the past. You might know him from Batman the Black Mirror with Scott Snyder. Um, and he's done all sorts. He's doing variant covers right now for Batman. He's doing like the one in 25, one in 50 ratio variants. I'm just looking forward to seeing Jock's art again on Batman. It's my favorite character and he's one of the coolest Batman artists there is. I don't even care what the story's like, but Jock is writing the story and hopefully it's a pretty good one. Now this one's got a cover price of $6.99. And I'm just getting the cover A. Next up from DC Comics, since we're talking about DC, let's go to Batman Catwoman issue number nine. Now, this one's written by Tom King with artwork by Liam Sharp, even though this cover is by Clay Mann. Now, this series I kind of fell behind on, but we're so far in, we're so deep into the series, I figured let's just finish it out in single issues. Plus, they've got a special coming up uh, with artwork by John Paul Leon. Uh, which was the last thing that he ended up doing before he passed away. So I'm sticking with this series in single issues, but I couldn't tell you what's happening in the series right now. This one's got a cover price of $4.99, and I'm just getting the cover A. And lastly, the last book on my DC Comics pull list is one that honestly could have taken the top spot this week. This is Nightwing issue number 87. Now, Tom Taylor has been teasing this issue for months now, but this issue... Um, is going to be written as one continuous image. So I think you have to buy like four copies of this to lay them all out, to lay out each page and make a big poster. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I'm still excited to see what this one huge image looks like. Uh, so that one is written by Tom Taylor. It's got art by Bruno Redondo. It's been a phenomenal series so far. And now that we're out of this whole Fear State saga, I'm really excited to get back into Nightwing because I love what it was at its core before all the tie-ins and the event kind of took it down a couple notches. But this one's got a cover price of $3.99 and I'm just getting the cover A. And that's going to do it for my DC Comics pull list. So if I just stick to the list, my books are going to cost me $16. $16 this week for DC. Not bad. Now let's go over to Brand X, aka Marvel. So 
First up on my Marvel Comics pull list is The Amazing Spider-Man issue number 82. So, Spider-Man. I feel like I feel like Marvel's kind of duping me a little bit, right? Spider-Man is either really good or it's just meh. The last week's issue was just meh for me, but the Miles Morales tie-in was kind of exciting. Um but yeah, I don't know, man. This stuff with the Beyond Corporation is interesting, right? We're starting to see that the Beyond Corporation has ulterior motives and we all assumed that would happen. And then at the end of the last tie-in issue, uh, before the Miles Morales tie-in, uh, you know, Peter woke up from his coma. Spoilers, my bad. It's been two weeks though. It's been two weeks. Uh, but Peter woke up from his coma. So obviously Peter's going to return. I'm excited about that, but. I can't lie. The series has been up and down. I feel like I'm paying for it way too often. And it's on, it's, it's in the danger zone. It might get dropped soon. But, uh, Amazing Spider-Man number two, or excuse me, number 82 has a cover price of $3.99. I'm just getting the cover A. And next up, uh, from Marvel Comics is Black Panther number two. Uh, Black Panther written by John Ridley with art by Juan Cabal. I somehow forgot to read issue one. So I'm going to read that this afternoon and hopefully Black Panther stays on the pull list. I'm excited for a new start for T'Challa. Um, I came into the game super late into Ta-Nehisi Coates' run, so I haven't been reading Black Panther. So I'm excited to get a new take and a fresh jumping in point. Um, but hopefully it's good. Hopefully there's more action than there is in other John Ridley properties. That's got a cover price of... $3.99, and I'm just getting cover A. Next up uh, is a series that I was excited about, and my anticipation is waning a little bit, but this is Venom uh, by Al Ewing and Ram V. This is issue number three. Uh, so I have to admit, this was not as fun of a start as Donny Cates' run, and it's honestly a little bit confusing, especially if you're just jumping in without having completed Donny Cates' run, but the, the excitement is starting to build. There's some, the world's being fleshed out still. Uh, and Dylan Brock is a fun Venom so far. Uh, so I'm excited to see where this goes, even if I'm a little bit cautious, hesitant, nervous, right? But Venom number three has a cover price of $3.99 and I'm getting cover A. And man, man, this Marvel list is just kind of like, eh. But next up from Marvel Comics is Wolverine issue number 19. So I'm, I'm behind on my pull list. I'm, be, I'm getting caught up, uh, basically over the last, the next week or so, so that I can figure out which books are my favorite for the year. And just last week, I got caught up on X Force. And I gotta say, ever since the Ten of Swords and Hellfire Gala, a lot of these X-Men books just don't seem they're not as focused as they once were. They're not as exciting as they once were. Benjamin Percy is putting a compelling things on the page, but it's just like, feels like treading water. That's how X-Force feels anyway. And so I'm kind of nervous to jump back into Wolverine. But I know that Wolverine is Benjamin Percy's favorite character. I know that Wolverine has an event coming up written by Benjamin Percy. So hopefully the Wolverine title is more exciting than these other X-Men titles, but I'm not holding my breath. But this one's got a cover price of $3.99. I'm just getting cover A. And the last book on my Marvel Comics pull list is a book that I didn't know existed until I looked up the solicitations. This is X-Men Trial of Magneto number five. I honestly thought this was a four issue mini. It's a five issue mini. And so I'm completing it so that my run can be complete. I was so enamored with Inferno. I was like, why do I need Trial of, In Trial of Magneto four, right? But I was already like three issues in. Inferno's really good. Inferno's cramming a lot of stuff into four issues, but it's been really good. And it's kind of taken my focus off of the rest of the X-Men line, which is probably not what it was supposed to do. Uh, but X-Men Trial of Magneto number five, written by Leah Williams, has a cover price of $3.99. I'm getting the cover A. And that's it for my Marvel Comics pull list. If I just stick to the list, my Marvel Comics are going to cost me $20 this week. Not bad. A light week. Now let's move on to the independent comics, the smaller publishers, the creator own stories, if you will. Uh, first up from Image Comics is Gunslinger Spawn number three. Gunslinger Spawn has been my favorite out of the Spawn's universe titles. Uh, I love, love, love the artwork. 
I love like just the gritty Western style. I, it's just great. It's just fun. It's a fun book with great artwork, but this one's got a cover price of $2.99. $2.99. It's got to stay on the list at that low of a price, right? I'm getting cover A. And the last book on my pull list this week is Radiant Black number 11. Radiant Black, written by Kyle Higgins, who you may know from Power Rangers. Uh, man, I just finished volume one in this series yesterday and I loved it. I mean, I'm only, I'm only six issues in, but I love Radiant Black. It's given me the superhero flair that I need with the heart that I expect in an indie story. Um, and you know, just a great story because there's not a bunch of editorial interference. This has been one of my favorite titles of the year and I don't anticipate that slowing down over the next five issues. But Radiant Black number 11 has a cover price of $3.99. I'm getting cover A. And so that's my list. So if I stick to the list, my indies are just going to cost me $7. And my whole pull list is only going to cost me $43. Not bad. I'm under budget. But there is one book that's on the maybe list. This week, that is Justice League Incarnate number two. Now, the Justice League Incarnate was something that was established back in the pages of Infinite Frontier, the event by Joshua Williamson. And so he sets up this new superhero team um, and all that gets continued in this Justice League Incarnate series. I picked up issue one, but I didn't quite read it yet. And so I didn't want to just subscribe to it. But I'm going to go ahead and read issue one and decide whether or not this deserves a spot on my pull list because I know they're going to eventually collect this into a hardcover. Now, Justice League Incarnate and all of this Joshua Williamson work is leading to like the next big reset or refocus of the DC universe. And so it's important to read if you are a DC fan, but the Infinite Frontier was kind of bogged down in some DC history that I wasn't as familiar with. And I expect this will be too. But it was a decent enough explainer at the same time. But anyway, I'm on the fence about Justice League Incarnate number two. Uh, we'll see how issue one goes and I'll decide if I'm going to pick it up by Wednesday. Uh, that's got a cover price of $4.99. And I would just get the cover A if I decided to buy it. And that would bring my total up to $48 before my subscriber discount and taxes, of course. So still not a bad week, even if I add that book to the pull list. But I want to know what's on your list this week. Is there a new series that you're reading that I'm not? What about some of these indie titles? I know there's a ton of indie books going out this year and this week. What are you guys getting? I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I hope that you saw something you liked in this video. And I hope you have a really, really merry Christmas. Um, and if not, you know, that's cool. Because you can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy. And be nice to others. Because kindness makes the world go round. Peace. Happy holidays.